Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Hustle and Hoops offseason preview. Today, we're going to be talking about Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers, jump right into it. Congratulations, Karis LeVert, on the extension. Two years, $32 million. Solid defensive backup piece uh, who can create for himself occasionally and be a spark plug on a semi-regular basis. I mean, at the same time, he also can just go straight cold for like a month and a half, two months. So, like. It's, it's tough for Karis LeVert, in my opinion. Uh, but they did sign and bring in George Niang, George Niang, and at a three-year, $25.5 million contract, and that's going to supplement the lack of three-point shooting that this team has struggled with for a while you know, a couple years now. And with Niang coming off the bench, probably at the four, I, you, you know, you have an extra level of shooting next to the other acquisition uh, during free agency where you joined in on a three-teamer with San Antonio and with San Antonio and Miami sending Lamar Stevens and Chetty Osman to San Antonio and receiving uh, Max Struess in a sign-and-trade on a four-year, 62 62- Point three million dollar sign and trade to Cleveland. Uh, this is, you know, we we knew Max was gonna, you know, receive himself a little bag in free agency. Most likely not from the Miami Heat. Cleveland wasn't necessarily the team that I had in my pool, but they needed wings, and he can stretch the floor for them for sure. He can definitely stretch the floor for them, and he's a little bit more than just a shooter. So that's you know nice to have. And now you know that bench lineup of Lavert and Rubio. And, you know, whoever their backup big is at the time this year, it's probably going to be Damian Jones. Although we're not sure what they traded him for. They did trade for Damian Jones. But this backup lineup is going to have a level of shooting with Struess and Niang that it just didn't have before. And that's going to really fucking help the starters a lot, a lot, obviously. And then to be able to, you know, fill in a Coro with a Struess or Niang is also going to be, you know, going to be a huge key thing for this team in moments of offensive stagnation. Now, you also signed Ty Jerome to a two-year $4.6 million deal. You have Ricky Rubio, so realistically, he's not probably going to get that many minutes over Ricky, but Ty is a solid shooter and a good playmaker, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him get some run for this Cleveland team. And then you also drafted Imani Bates uh, out of Eastern Michigan. You know, we fuck with Imani, Ipsy boy, but I don't know. I mean, my opinion has definitely changed on Amani since high school back when, you know, I remember one of my friends went and saw that game winner. Or at least he got to the building. I don't remember if he got to get in because that's how packed it was for Amani back in high school. But you also have Dean Wade still there. Um, realistically, I've basically done the lineups, but I'll go through it real quick. You've got Darius Garland at the starting point guard. That's I've talked about Darius Garland before on this channel. I've talked about how I feel about him coming out of Vanderbilt, you know, or having gotten injured in the first, you know, couple of games or whatever for Vanderbilt. You didn't get to see Darius Garland in college that much. But in high school, I was a huge fan, a huge fan. And coming into the league, obviously, you had a lot of people talking shit in his first year. And he has proved a lot of the doubters wrong in the last year and a half or so. With his playmaking and overall scoring gravity, he brings a just the electric movement of Darius Garland really benefits the rest of the players on this team. Uh, obviously, his playmaking is a large part of Jared Allen's points, and a lot of the screens ran for this team are ran for Darius Garland. Evan Mobley at the four, Jared Allen at the five, obviously, is going to be your, your starting, you know, your starting front court for a long time, in my opinion. I think they fit so well together that there's no reason to, to do anything about that. You have Isaac Okoro at the three, solid defensive three can he string together you know month, uh, consecutive months of solid three-point shooting that's really the main question and can he carry that into the playoffs and then obviously you have donovan mitchell the 70 point man himself what else is there to say about donovan mitchell i mean he's he's an explosive scorer at the rim and a excellent three-point shooter off the dribble and 
just a really fun ass player to watch really enjoy watching donovan mitchell i mean he's solid on the defensive end with his long ass wingspan yeah this this starting lineup is over the next four or five years going to continue to take steps into contention and hopefully you know make a better showing than they did last offseason uh with with the lights being so bright but off the bench you've got ricky rubio like i said at the backup pg Karis LeVert at the back of shooting guard, Max Struess, back of small forward, George Nang, and Damian Jones if he's on the team. Solid backup bench. Solid backup bench lineup. I could see uh, Sam Merrill. I could see Ty Jerome. I could see Dean Wade getting minutes. I could see all those guys fitting in the rotation, whether it be injury, knock on wood, or just general load management. I could see, you know, Karis or Max or, or, or Niang hopping into the starting lineup at the three just to to sample things. I think it's going to end up being a Coro just to do the whole defensive thing with Jared, Evan, Coro, and then, you know, having your small guards. Even though Donovan is a bad defender, like a typical small guard, but whatever. Point being, it's a fun team. I like them. I like their additions for the coming, you know, playoffs, the coming off season. Do I think it's, you know, championship? No, obviously not. But you, you continue to take progressive steps, like I've said in probably all these fucking videos. And Cleveland is doing a great job at surrounding their stars, Darius, Donovan, Evan, and Jarrett, less so Jarrett, with, no offense, with the necessary pieces to succeed and be successful in their roles. That's really all I got. We'll see y'all. Peace.